Hey guys, it's Alice Adams. Welcome back to Wonderland. Today's video is what's in my gym bag. If you guys follow me on Instagram, links down below. I have been working on my fitness journey now for a little over two years, so you've probably been seeing that. If you do follow me on Instagram, I post quite a lot about my journey. I lift weights five days a week, also accompanied by about 10 to 20 minutes of cardio. If you want to know more about my fitness stuff, please comment down below. I really do my best to give you guys content that you're interested in. And like I've mentioned in previous videos, it seems like people are really digging my modification stuff, about like tattoos, piercings, different things like that. But I figured I'd throw something totally different in the mix, so just let me know if you want to see more things like this. Also, one more thing before we get started. I would like to thank April Morset for the request for this video. Girl, this is for you. Shout out to you. Thanks. And anytime you guys want to see something, just comment it down below and I will most probably do it for you. So, I'm sitting down, so this is going to be a little bit awkward. But again, <laughs> the dogs only ever seem to get crazy when I'm filming, so I'm sorry for all the ruckus that you hear. That's what that is. So this is my gym bag. It's full of cat hair, like everything else in my life. So it's Fila brand. I got it from Winners. I think it was about $30. I got it because it was purple, and purple is my favorite color. But I also got it because it has so many different little compartments. Something to know about me, I'm obsessed with organization. I really like everything to have its own place. If I'm looking for something, reach. There's the thing that I'm looking for. I don't. Have, there's no guesswork involved in that case. And yeah, so my gym bag also needed to be organized. So what I have is, in this pocket, it's actually like a tube that is made of fabric. And so you can put your dirty laundry in there or pretty much whatever you want. But I put my dirty laundry in there until I can wash it, like on my way home from the gym. And in this pocket, I have everything that's not clothing related, so like my headphones, iPod, stuff like that, but I will be showing you that. Let's look at the clothing first. Bit of a disclaimer, I don't know the like names of the styles. Hang on, I think someone's at my house. As I was saying earlier, um, sorry this is all over the place. I don't know like the names of the styles of a lot of these clothes because I can't justify spending money on like Lululemon and stuff. So everything like that that's in my bag was gifted to me. I'm sure that if you go on the website you could find these products there. Okay. So I guess like the obvious things would be like a sports bra. <laughs> This is from Urban Planet. It says Killing It on the straps. I find it's really good for um, keeping everything nice and dry because I sweat like crazy when I work out. I know that some people don't sweat as much, but I definitely sweat a lot. So I really like, there's even like this section, sorry it's so full of cat hair, my life is full of cat hair, that is kind of scrunchy. And so this is actually made for under boob sweat. So that's cool. Now this I got at Value Village. Oh, it looks like it's called Tough Athletics. I just love fitness shirts that have bras built into them. It's just one extra step that I don't have to worry about, and I find it usually keeps everything in place, so I really, really like them. It's cute. I find the way that the lines are, it's very figure flattering. It's very slimming, and there's a little bit of mesh at the top, which is really cute right there. Yeah. So I'm having a day where I really, really want to sweat. I will go to the gym in a sweater. This is a new thing that I started doing. It's sort of like a crop top, but it just kind of just covers the belly button. And it's Adidas, and it's purple, and I love purples. Again, fitness top that has a sports bra built in, except it is Lululemon. Thank you, Dad and Tammy, for getting this for me for my birthday. It's definitely one of my favorites. If I can untangle the thing, oh my gosh. 
that's one thing about the sports bras built in is I do find they get kind of tangled when you wash them so be careful of that if you can get away with hand washing your stuff do it I'm just too lazy but this is what it looks like it's just plain black a little bit of detail on the sides it's actually got a mesh back which is really nice there's the little top section so you can see the different layers, super cute. I find compared to other fitness tops that I've purchased, this one actually comes up quite high, which I like because you don't want the girls to just jump out when you're going hard during your workout. Next I've just got some plain pants <laughs> from Urban Planet. They've got little mesh detailing on the sides. I really like little cutouts for myself personally because they show off my tattoos. So these I also got at Valley Village. They are Nike Dry Fit, just a capri style workout pant. I really like them. They're very soft. They're not quite as slippery feeling as some of the other pants that I have, but they're really comfortable. So I also have some more Lululemon pants. Again, thank you Dad and Tammy for my birthday. You guys got me some pants. They're a navy blue, which I'll be honest with you, normally I go for a black before a navy blue, but I really like these a lot. They're long, and as per Lulu clothing, they've got like all those little details with seams around the outside of them. They're really cute. If you guys want to see a try on for a lot of this stuff, just let me know in the comments down below. But there's also photos of me wearing most of these on my Instagram. And once again, they've got the little mesh on the sides. It's nice because the top is mesh, but there's also like a material underlay so that you can't actually see through it. It just like looks cute with little polka dots. But then as you get below the knee, it becomes more transparent. As you can see here. This one and my Gymshark ones, which I'll talk about in a second, are my two favorite, absolute favorite pants. The lemon sweatband. It's got this silicone band to keep it from sliding on your hair. I find it still slides anyways. This adorable strappy back Lululemon sports bra. I really love the colors in this sports bra. I find it so cute if you're wearing like a plungy sort of loose fitting tank top with it and then you can see it yeah super awesome this has to be my favorite sports bra that I own I have this towel because I will sometimes shower at the gym instead of showering at home after the gym and it's got velcro on it to keep it on you when you're walking through the change room I actually got this at a store in Sudbury Ontario called treasure hunt and I think it was like three dollars my flippy floppies for the same reason now I have to talk about these shoes, you guys. These are my all-time favorite shoes to work out in. They're great for weightlifting, they're great for running, they're pretty much great for everything, and they're the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn. I should mention that I'm not sponsored by any companies to tell you that I like them. I would never be dishonest with you. If I don't like something, you will definitely know about it, as you've probably seen in my Tripped Up Turquoise video, which I will link down below. I stand on my feet all day for my job. I'm a hairstylist, if you don't know. My feet hurt all the time. And so the second that I put these on after work, it's just immediate relief. They are the Nike Pegasus running sneaker. And I got them in turquoise. They tend to always make them bright colors, I guess for when you're running, because you can like see them more and stuff, but I really like them anyways, even though they're not black. They're really lightweight compared to any other shoe I own. They are very breathable. Like there's lots of different like meshy sort of thin areas. So when your feet are sweating, you don't just like totally ruin the shoe. It's it keeps everything nice and dry. And the grips are wonderful at the bottom. I can't say enough good things about this shoe, so you guys should definitely go buy some. If you're looking for footwear, I will never look back. I will always buy this exact shoe forever. We got this on Wish. And this is the material that I like, which is great. It's a skeleton tank top. But 
again with Wish, I <laughs> bought an extra large and it's still a little bit tight on me. But that's okay, eventually it won't be tight on me. It appears as though my Gymshark pants are in the wash right now. Those are amazing <coughs> pants. Keep me the driest the most. And because they're so nice and tight and spandexy, they make the booty look good and they just kind of suck everything in <laughs> and they really move with you like it doesn't even really feel like you're wearing pants because they're basically just part of your leg at that point if you're wondering who got home that's chris he's a little bit sick right now so he's just coughing over there are you okay honey so these are my weightlifting gloves i got these at winners i think they're about 7.99 canadian there we go so to match my shoes i got the turquoise color they are TKO brand and they've got lots of different ventilation because again your hands get sweaty and they've got grips for the weights this will avoid calluses and I find as I said a million times I sweat a lot when I work out so it helps me to have a better grip on the weights because I do mostly free weights training and once you're really sweaty it's hard to <laughs> keep hold of those and last but not least I've just got some Lululemon short shorts I like these, but I will say I don't wear them at the gym just because they're really short, the booty kind of pops out of there, and yeah. And I'm just not really comfortable wearing short shorts at the gym. Personally, I prefer to wear pants. Maybe one day when I'm super ripped, I would be daring enough, but I'm going to leave these in my bag for now. I'll wear them under dresses and stuff when it's a windy day, but that's about it. So first I have this little pouch for when I shower at the gym and just for little emergencies. There is leave-in conditioner by Revlon Professional, there's a little mini toothbrush, there's a hair tie, toothpaste. This is a little note that I made with a few different workouts that I saw on Instagram. I just kind of wrote them down so that I could follow them. I've got some tissue in there, some moisturizer for after the shower. I have another hair tie and a scrunchie, and yeah, it's just like a little lifesaver in a small bag. Now I've got my resistance bands. I got these on Amazon. I think they're about $11 for all three, and I love these. I will use them on my legs in so many different ways. If you want to see a video showing different workouts with these resistance bands, I would love to, to film that for you. Just let me know in the comments down below. But you get your light resistance, your medium resistance, and your heavy resistance. There is an extra heavy, oh yes, but I've never opened it because your girl just isn't ready for extra heavy resistance. So they actually tell you on them, not only are they color coded, but they do say it printed on the resistance band what one is what. This is one of my favorite things. Okay. So when MP3 players, yes, MP3 players, were just starting to phase out and iPods became a thing, shortly after the classic, they had released this little square Nano. I still have it. It's really taken a beating. It's four gigs and it's silver, but like I have a little case on it from when I was, I think I was in high school. I think I was in the ninth grade. I don't really remember. It could have been the eighth grade. Anyway, so I've always loved the Nightmare Before Christmas, so when I saw this iPod cover at Claire's back in the day, I had to have it. And so it has Jack, and this is the Nightmare Before Christmas, and I have all my music on here. Do you guys want to know what's on my gym playlist? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll make a video. My darling Christopher got me for, was it Christmas? I think so. Yeah, for Christmas. Some headphones for the gym because I was using just the regular iPhone or iPod headphones, but I was finding that they just kept popping out of my ears during vigorous workouts. So I need something to go over my head. And I love these headphones. I don't even know what brand they are. Do you know? We don't know, <laughs> but they're awesome, and this is what the logo looks like, so if you know what this is, comment down below. They just they just go right over your head on your little ears. If you're doing any sort of workout routine where you have to lay down, I do recommend 
facing them forward. Even though it looks really stupid, they stay on your head better that way. Just a little thing to strap your phone or your iPod to your arm while you're working out, especially if you're running, but it just makes me sweat. It's by my Tagalongs brand, interesting. But there's different pockets and stuff. It looks really cute and it's pink and purple, like my gym bag, but yeah, too much sweat for this girl to handle, so I mean, I'll keep it, but I don't know if I'll ever use it. My lock for my locker. This, why is this in here? I have this random picture of this adorable girl that my friend Shane gave to me for Christmas. So if you know who this is, I don't know who she is, but if you know who this is, can you please tell me because she's adorable. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that this was interesting to you. Comment down below what your favorite thing in my gym bag was. I would love to hear it. I hope you guys have a super awesome day. Stay happy and smile, and I will see you next week.